Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. Amid the ongoing conflict with China, the Indian Armed Forces are now going to acquire the Prale ballistic missile which can hit targets from 150 to 500 km range. As per the report published by ANI in December 2022, MOD has cleared 120 Prale missile which will be deployed along the borders with China and Pakistan. The missile would be inducted into Indian Air Force. On 15th April 2023, ANI has reported that Indian Defence Forces are set to order two more units of Prale at a cost of Rs 7,500 crore. The move comes after MOD cleared one unit of Prale for Indian Air Force in December 2022. The proposal is also important as it comes at a time when Indian forces are working on creation of a rocket force which has been in discussion at highest levels in the Ministry of Defence. Unlike China, India has limited conventional ground launch missile options. At present, if we look into Indian ballistic missile arsenal, it does not have any tactical ballistic missile except for Prithvi having a range of 350 km. If Indian Army has to hit a target deep inside Chinese territory, it has to use Brahmos, which is pinpoint accurate but quite an expensive option. Further, Brahmos can carry only 200 kg of warhead. India's ballistic missiles are nuclear capable and their deployment or use even with conventional warhead will escalate the situation and tension. It will increase the possibility for nuclear war. This is the reason why ballistic missiles are not under the rocket force of India but to remain under the strategic forces command. Prale could stand out as India's only conventional ballistic missile potentially under field army control. It has been officially confirmed that Prale would be armed with a conventional warhead. Therefore, once Prale is ready and deployed, it will not lead to unintended nuclear escalation or misinterpretation. The Prale missile, having a range between 150 to 500 km, can strike on all Chinese air bases, surface to air missile, radar sites, and other military assets across the LSE. With a payload of 700 kg, the missile can completely destroy the Chinese air base, rendering them inoperable. Prale is going to be a canisterized tactical surface to surface and short range ballistic missile. The missile is an amalgamation of technologies developed for. Exo-Atmospheric Interceptor Missile, Prithvi Defense Vehicle, and Prahar Tactical Missile. It is comparable with Russia's 9K720 Skander in range and trajectory characteristics. Prala uses a new generation of composite propellant developed by HEMRL during development phase of Sagrika from K-series of missile family. The solid fuel is highly efficient and can provide more energy compared to the fuel used in Agni series. This has enabled to reduce the overall size of the missile without compromising their operational range. Prale is also a quasi-ballistic missile capable of sharp maneuvering before striking a target. It is superior to traditional ballistic missile as it does not follow a complete ballistic trajectory which makes it difficult to detect. The JVC, that is Jet Wind Control System, provides Prale ability to deviate from typical ballistic or parabolic path and maneuver during the ascent of missile by deflecting the rocket's exhaust vanes. This is why it is called quasi ballistic missile. The JVC is only available at the initial phase, that is, in boost mode when the missile is ascending the atmosphere. Prale is much needed replacement for Prithvi as well because Prithvi is a liquid fuel based whose maintenance is difficult. Prala uses fused silica radar dome developed by DRDO for locating its target. Other missiles using DRDO's developed radar dome are QRSAM, Rudram 1 and 2. The use of RF transponder radar dome suggests that the missile uses radar imaging for terminal homing. Prale can carry payload between 350 kg to 700 kg of high explosive preformed fragmentation warhead or penetration cum blast or runway denial penetration submunitions and has range between 150 to 500 km. 
During wartime, it can be used to target radar and communication installations, command and control centers, and advanced airfields. Upon induction, Prelim missile will become part of regiment of artillery. Once inducted into armed forces, it will complement Pinaka at longer range to provide credible deterrence against the PLA's rocket force. The development of Prelim became more evident when DRDO successfully conducted the flight tests of Prelim missile on 22nd December 2021 and 23rd December 2021. This was the first time when two consecutive flight tests of a ballistic missile have been conducted successfully on two consecutive days. During the first trial, the new missile followed desired quasi-ballistic trajectory and reached the designated target with high degree of accuracy. The quasi-ballistic trajectory of Prelay makes its detection extremely difficult. In its second launch, the missile was tested for heavier payload and different ranges to prove precision and lethality. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.